Looks like the Snyder Cut of Justice League is a thing. It's coming out in sometime 2021. And it's for the HBO Max streaming service, which is just being released as a service this month, the end of this month. So bravo, fans. You're getting what you want. And Snyder gets to make the movie he always wanted to. So win-win for everyone, right? Well, let's hope so. So uh, this will debut in 2021. Possibly in a four-hour director's cut or in six TV-style chapters. That sounds crazy. Remember, we're talking about Justice League, not a very good film, according to fans and critics. 40% tomato meter, 127,000 fans gave it 71%. That's not great. That's not good either. It's just sort of, ugh passable to fans who really like the thing. And if you read some of these reviews, they're pretty brutal. So you're taking something and you're adding stuff on top. You could be modifying some scenes, that's true. But if you don't get rid of what's bad, you're not going to get a new story. You're not going to get a better story. You're just going to get a Frankenstein monster of scenes that the director really wanted but didn't have time to do or didn't have budget to do. So I don't think this is a great idea. I think this could work if it was like a a mini series and you would take every single hero and they had their own like, you know, Star Trek Discovery has short treks or whatever those are called. It could work in that way on a streaming service. You can get some tight budgets and some tight scripts. I think that's the way to do it. But okay, this is what's coming. Uh, good Good luck. I mean, that's... Oh, boy. Unclear is the cost of the endeavor. One source has pegged the effort in the $20 million range. Another source that says the figure could be closer to $30 million. So they got to do some reshoots. They got to do some remastering. They got to do more CGI, more sets. It will be an entirely new thing, especially talking to those who have seen the released movie, a new experience apart from that movie. Okay, how much is new? This is what I still don't understand. You're still using the old film, and you're adding more stuff, and you're breaking it down into six parts or what have you. <sighs> so it's essentially a miniseries. It's no longer just a film. It's a huge miniseries. You probably saw one-fourth of what I did. What the hell was this guy filming? Was he filming three other movies? This doesn't make too much. How much money did this guy blow? And go, oh, yeah, yeah, let's make a movie. It sounds very similar to uh, Ryan Johnson, how he, he had too much film. He recorded too many scenes. And he, oh, yeah, I got to cut this down. Do filmmakers not know how to write stuff, how to write scripts? And go, oh, yeah, I can't use 80% or, or, <laughs> or 25, 75% rather of all the things I made. I have to cut it under three hours. Like, no shit. What is going on with these people? I always thought it was a thing that in 20 years, maybe somebody would do a documentary and I could lend them the footage, little snippets of a cut no one has ever seen. It's like, okay, as a, as a result of having streaming services, you could have something like this. You can't release something like this theatrically, but you could with the streaming service and an opportunity that wasn't there two years ago, to be honest. Great. I mean, this is fine. This People want it. You got it. I think that's great. I just don't think you should be that enthusiastic about it. Um, this is all coming from those two other great films like Man of Steel and Batman, Superman, Dawn of Justice. Oh, those were so fantastic. The grim, dark version of Batman and Superman is like, ugh. Another bloated, long, boring film. Justice League opened up to almost 660 million worldwide. Fans unhappy with the film created the now infamous infamous hashtag release the Snyder Cut. Yep. 100,000 signatures to ask for this on petition.org or change.org. Oh, boy. Yeah, not much for me to say on this aside from it's going to be bad. And maybe, just maybe, if they have it released in six parts, those six parts will be highly edited and highly removing the plot from the movie. It sounds very strange to do it this way. But this is a, a, 
a passion project. There's obviously some money to be made or else HBO and other parties involved would not have done this. So if they could pull this off, they could make money, be under budget, bring the gang back together for some reshoots, remasters, CGI, and for God's sakes, better storytelling. Bravo. I say bravo to everyone involved, but it just sounds like a you're, you're revisiting old wounds and just things that should be forgotten. But hey, if Snyder gets what he wants, the fans get what they want, someone's smiling, someone's bringing joy to their lives, you might get a, a better grim, dark version of all these heroes. So here's hoping, guys. Thanks for listening. Have yourself a great day.